Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back after a long time with a new custom ROM for our Redmi Note 10 Pro and this is the Lineage OS 20.0 and it is based on Android 13 and its security patch and Android version is latest as you can see here Android version is 13 Lineage OS version is 20.0 and basically this is the unofficial build and its Android security patch and security update is uh, 5 June 2023 and vendor security patch level is March 1 2023 so this ROM is kinda smooth enough to use as a daily driver so in this video I will be showing you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 10 Pro and is it stable for daily usage and uh, uh, what's its Geekbench result scores and how's its camera working and all other stuff so without any further ado let's get started before starting the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates so first of all let's start from the Geekbench 6 results so as you can see here it just scored uh, 758 on single core and just sco it scored 1696 on multi cores uh, the Geekbench score is pretty much impressive so app opening speed and other performance things are pretty much good everything is just working fine as you can see here the app opening speed is also pretty much good and uh, if you talk about the camera in the camera we have this camera pre-installed which is kinda MIUI or Leica camera so as you can see here, here we have AI effects and other modes like movie frame and all other settings are available video mode is available document pro portrait mode night mode and in the more options you can check the vlog short video long video slow motion etc and uh, 108 megapixel mode is also available in this camera mode so if you want the google camera application then you can search for google camera application on google so other than that there is no any single bug go issue in, the, in this rom everything is just working fine and only a few and needed applications are pre-installed uh, no bloatware is found in this rom as you can see here and here we have the audio android auto so you can just directly connect it out to your car and then we have audio fx pre-installed right here so now let's go into the settings so first of all here we have a search bar right here you can uh, by the way you can simply operate the whole uh, ui of setting with the only one hand so in the quick setting we have this typical android 13 quick setting right here and the top left we have clock and date then we have sim card and connectivity battery options then you can toggle into the settings and by the way if you uh, any application is running in the background it will show right here at the bottom of quick settings expanded quick settings sorry then we have connect network and connectivities connected devices apps notification battery the battery backup of this rom is pretty much good here we have thermal profiles battery usage battery saver and here we also have the extreme battery saver right here then we have adaptive battery and charging control so after it here we have storage sound and vibration the sounding quality of this rom is pretty much good and uh, by the way here we have some uh, sounding application like haptic feedback main sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality then we have other sound options right here so then we have display in the display we have all typical options you can just simply uh, enable the dark mode and you can also disable it out and here we have display size and text and you can also make the text bold and high contrast then we have live display night light you can also change the color profile to boosted or saturated then we have network indicator monitors this one is the really useful tweak so as you can see here the network indicators is shown at the top then we have pools data usage rotation settings and you can also change the peak refresh rate and minimum refresh to 120 hertz or 60 hertz then we have screen saver tap to wake tap to sleep and uh, dc dimming is also available you can use it if you are using the mobile phone in really dark or at night so by the way we don't have any option to enable the high refresh rate option but still we have the option to set up the peak refresh rate or minimum refresh rate 
So, it is a plus point for this room. Then we have wallpaper and style and the wallpapers here we have some wallpaper pre-installed as you can see here and you can also change the wallpaper colors. So, then you can also change the home screen settings. Then we have accessibility, security. Now in the security, every security option is just working fine. And you can also check uh, the security features and security patch of this room is up to date. And here we have uh, face lock and fingerprint. Face lock unlock is also working and fingerprint is also working of this room. Then we have, sorry for the reflections in the mobile screen. Then we have location, password and account, digital well-being system and in the system we have languages and input buttons here we have some customizations so here you can invert the layout here we have the power option menu and you can also enable the advanced reboot in the lineage os so it's a plus point again then we have end call and some other volume buttons tweaks then we have system profile status bar settings from here you can enable the quick pull down system icons uh, clock position you can also change the battery style battery percentage style so then we have brighten slider options then we have gestures in the gestures we have quickly open camera system navigation bar from the system navigation bar you can change the style to the navigation uh, gesture navigation or three button navigation so one handed mode is also available in this room you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have power press and hold power button and you can uh, select power menu or digital assistant then we have double tap to check phone let's see if it works and it is working uh, it will show you a display like always on display so it's a good thing then we have swipe three finger for screenshot prevent ringing and at the end here we have uh, date and time, backup, updater, rules, multiple users and reset options and uh, then we have about phone section right here. You can check its Android version is 13, Lineage OS version is 20.0 and the security patch of this ROM is also latest 5 June 2023. So the ROM is pretty much stable and yes you can use it as your daily driver too. The gaming performance of this ROM is also kinda impressive. So if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro, then the download link of this ROM is available in the uh, description box. Go and download it out and the installation process is pretty much simple and like other ROMs, you just need to download the ROM from the link in the description and reboot your device into the TWRP recovery. And if you have not uh, installed the TWRP recovery yet, then you can watch the video from the description box. And uh, after going into the TWRP recovery, you can follow these steps on the screen so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates keep supporting thanks for watching peace